Hey friends, today we are hanging out at the Magic Kingdom. I wanted to come out and do a couple of attractions that I haven't done in a while. And also I wanted to come out and get myself like a pumpkin spice coffee and just walk around the Magic Kingdom and enjoy a nice evening here. I feel like it's been a while since I've done that. So I figured I'd bring you along with me. Anywho's, let's go do this. It's about five o'clock and the weather is actually very nice out. We have a nice little breeze that's not too hot. These are the types of nights that I love coming to the Magic Kingdom, especially when we get into the fall season. Like I said earlier, I'm interested in grabbing a nice pumpkin coffee and just kind of mingling around the Magic Kingdom. So I think we're gonna head into Starbucks first. Looks like we got all the pumpkin classics, the pumpkin cream cold brew, the pumpkin spice latte, and how some people like to call it the PSL, and then the apple crisp macchiato. So we're gonna have to figure out which one we need to get. And I decided on an iced PSL. These are so delicious. Normally, I'm all about just the nitro cold brews, but I've really taken a liking to them. And this is my first one I've actually had inside the parks. Well, I had one at Universal Studios the other day, but uh, not any time here. So very delicious. I like to just stand on Main Street, stare at the castle, drink my coffee, listen to the music, people watch, and just have some fun. And while I was doing that, I noticed the wait times, and they are so low. Wait till you see this. Look at Seven Doors Mine Train, 45 minutes. Peter Pan, 40 minutes. Mickey's Filler Magic, 10. Winnie the Pooh is 20. Oh, Space Mountain was 20. So that's not too bad at all. I'm thinking maybe we'll actually head up to Winnie the Pooh. I'd love to actually take a ride on Winnie the Pooh. It's been a while, but we need to do a little damage to this coffee first. You know, you can't take it in the queues with you. Not too long ago, we weren't able to walk around and drink, so I'm blessed that we can just stand here and drink our coffee with the ducks and uh, then go to an attraction. I think they think I've got food or something, but all I've got is my coffee. And look at that one duck's leg kind of just hanging out there they are so cool though coolest ducks on the planet before we head up to Fantasyland I wanted to point out lots of construction at the partner statue they're getting ready for the 50th and it looks like it's kind of gonna be like a stage almost it looks so nice over here lots of different construction going on here and this is going to be for the disney's 50th star stage and that's exactly what it's going to be you can see it's in the shape of a star and i didn't even know they were doing this until like right now and i'm excited to see what it's going to look like once it's done I planned on coming to the Magic Kingdom the other day and I'm glad that I checked because it was a boobash night so I ended up deciding on not coming and I think that's something you had to keep your eye out for now because the park closes earlier and I don't know I just feel like if you're gonna plan on having a day at Magic Kingdom you want to have it like the fullest you know you don't want to come the night that there's a boobash unless you're coming to the boobash and then it's actually worth it so keep your eye on the calendar if you plan on visiting during the fall season like I said before, I wanted to actually go on the many adventures of Winnie the Pooh, and it looks like it's about a 25 minute wait, and the line is starting right here, but normally the line has actually been wrapping around all the way down by Tomorrowland, so we kind of really lucked out. Too bad this wasn't a place for friends to meet. You used to be able to meet Winnie the Pooh and friends here, but now you can actually see them going up and down Main Street on a cavalcade, and sometimes hanging on the top of the train station. Winnie the Pooh has one of the coolest cues, but this kind of reminds me of Whack-A-Mole. <laughs> Look at that. I feel lucky I got my own pot today. Chapter two, in which we join Pooh and his friends in a very blustery day. On the day wood, the east wind traded places with if you ask me, you'll never reach that tree. Why me? Right out of the ride. <laughs> 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 
right away, and everyone gathered together to say... Hooray! Winnie the Pooh is a great attraction to start off the day with, and it said 25 minutes, but it was more like 15, and that is really awesome. I mean, I would love to be able to come to the Magic Kingdom and only wait like 10 to 15 minutes per attraction. That would be like so amazing. Now, all week, people have had the opportunities to do that because it was very, very slow. But I think it being Saturday, today being Saturday, that uh, the crowds are definitely a little bit more busier now. I figured I'd stop down to Storybook Circus. The Big Top actually opened up and it's got the world's tastiest treats in there. So I figured we'd take a look-see in there and see what they got. Now this actually just recently reopened and right there it does say the world's tastiest treats. It also looks like Dumbo is a five minute wait and I wouldn't mind doing Dumbo and I think that's one of the attractions. You don't have to wear your mask because it's outdoors. So I think that would be fun. I haven't done a Disney ride without the mask on actually because even with them on, I kind of forget that I could take it off on outdoor attractions. So maybe we'll check that out after we get out of the big top. It is definitely very pretty in here and it's cool to actually come in and get out of the heat and get a little of the AC. Look at it. It's very festive in here. They used to have a lot more merchandise in here, but I think mainly now it's just the popcorn and all the different snacks and the candy apples. So I want to take a look at the candy apples in the glass. Look at all these candy apples. These ones are character inspired caramel apples. And then right here is an apple pie apple. An apple pie apple. That looks so good, doesn't it? Is that like apple pie crumb or like pie crust like crumbles on it? I appreciate the decor in here, and they have like the animal caboose carts. Look at this one is hyenas, and then they have tigers, bears, and kangaroos all the way on that side. I think that's really nifty. Can you imagine if they had animals inside there though? That would be pretty trippy. I think the coolest thing in there probably was the apple pie apple and I would actually get one But I feel like those things you have to sit down and eat you can't just walk around eating a candy apple I mean that is a messy messy thing and to hold the camera and a candy apple I feel like I would just be dooming myself for something bad to happen or for it to fall or just get all over myself So instead we're gonna go to Dumbo And there it is look at that Five minute wait, not too shabby. And also looks like there's a storm a brewing. I hope it don't rain. I feel a couple of raindrops. Raindrops falling on my head. And now we're actually gonna go into our second big top of the day. How funny is that? This one is actually really fun because it's a play place for the kids. Uh, so when you're actually sitting here, you can play and then return and go ride Dumbo. And it's hard to give you a look in there, but it's actually really, really awesome. See, look at it in there. It looks really cool. If I was a kid, I would want to play in there. Kind of reminds me of a Discovery Zone. Any of you guys remember those? I think they were the coolest things. Or Top Dog. Top Dogs didn't have a play area, but me growing up, it was all about DZ and Top Dog. Let me know in the comments if you guys know what I'm talking about. DZ was such a cool place, and I always wanted to have my birthday there. I did have my birthday at Top Dog a lot, and it was really fun. This was before Chuck E. Cheese, actually, I think. Maybe there were Chuck E. Cheese around, but there was no Chuck E. Cheese in my area. It was privately just run by the DZ kids and the Top Dog tokens. Step right up, pick a Dumbo. Which one's it gonna be? I think we're gonna go with the red one. The red Dumbo's the one for me. Where's the water? Wait a second. This don't feel that great. Something seems off here. <laughs> wow. A waterless Dumbo. I feel kind of strange in here. I'm used to, like, that was like one of the big key elements to the ride. I mean, I, I understand they have to clean it every once in a while. I mean, it probably gets really dirty down there, even though it doesn't look that bad at all. The water spouts look a little bit dirty, but that's about it. The ground itself, though, kind of looks clean, or maybe this is the clean version of it. We're going all the way up. All the way to the storks. <laughs> all the way up. I think my lever's broken. All the way up. There they are. Look at the storks up there. <laughs> oh yeah, there we go. We hit the max height. 
And doesn't it just look so pretty? Oh, I love this ride. Now, I'm gonna go down a little bit, and then up a little bit. It's got it like a delayed reaction, so I hit the thing down, now it's gonna go down, now it's gonna go up, now it's gonna go down. <laughs> Look at the view of Tomorrowland. Oh, and you can see the castle behind us too. Sky rockets in flight. Afternoon delight. Oh. Oh, looks like we're coming in. We're coming for a landing. Uh oh, I feel the raindrops. They are definitely happening. The rain is happening. We gotta seek shelter. I think we're gonna head to the Little Mermaid ride. Hopefully we make it there in time. Uh-oh, it's coming quick. I think we're gonna make it. We're gonna make it. Oh no, we're not gonna make it. <laughs> we didn't make it and now we're stuck in the queue for the Little Mermaid. Gotta watch out for the water droplets. It's getting you everywhere we go. I think, I think we made it. <laughs> it's so funny because most of the queue is outdoors and the rain is just kind of periodically wherever you walk once you get inside but at least we're staying dry something that is really cool is I don't think anyone is running in the rain to get in line for this ride so you got the queue kind of all to yourself so it's just me and my good friend up here Just me. That's that storm last night blew all my human stuff all over the place. Oh, you talking about the storm right now? Oh, it's late. Are you tired? Yeah, me too. Yeah, I'm a, a little tired. Long day with these crabs. <laughs> I kind of feel like he was having a conversation with me. That was kind of cool, but a little bit weird because I was the only one in that room. <laughs> There's my friend again. He began when King Triton asked Sebastian to keep an eye on Ariel. Wait a minute. It began when King Triton got old man and Ursula took Ariel's boy to me. Ooh, I've been working too hard. So There's nobody in here with me. <laughs> I got the Haunted Mansion fedora. This is a very, very good hat to wear in the rain because it's it's kind of thick so it doesn't, you know, get wet in the inside. It actually uh, stays dry and it keeps the camera dry. Seven Doors Mine Train is still running in the rain though. As long as there's no lightning in the area, we're all good. But I mean, this isn't a light rainstorm either. It is actually kind of downpouring. Looks like the rain is calming down a little bit. I'm already soaking wet, so I don't mind at all. My beard is definitely getting scruffy. I'm trying to grow my beard out, so that's why it looks like it's kind of like a big mess. Uh, I figured I'd just let it go and then trim around the sides, but I don't know, what do you guys think? Should I get like the full, full beard, let it go, or should I uh, trim it up a little bit? I'm kind of torn, because I don't think I've ever let it like grow, grow. 
right now whenever the rain stops the wait times are probably the most inaccurate so it says that the haunted mansion is a 10 minute wait but because the rain just stopped everyone actually runs out to attractions and the line is going all the way back here so like I said, it just happens like that. As soon as the rain stops, everyone floods back to the rides and it's not really accurate wait times. I'm really in the mood to go ride Pirates of the Caribbean. I feel like I haven't ridden that one in a while. So I think we'll skip on through there. But first, I wanna stop here in Frontierland and check on something. And then we're gonna hop over to Adventureland. Right here at Westward Hole Refreshments, they have the candied bacon, and it's something I've been wanting to try. I don't think I've ever tried it before. It's $9.99, and it is a big piece of bacon with potato chips, and I think it's worth a shot, and I gotta try it. And today uh, seems like a perfect day to do it. And here it is. $10 for this bacon. I mean, that is a pretty thick piece of bacon. And then you get the chips with it, of course. And I'm excited to try it. It looks really, really good. This looks so, so good. I cannot wait to bite into it. It's so thick, too. Like, I don't think I've ever seen bacon this thick before. But if you guys have ever had it, let me know what you think. I'll let you know what I think when I eat it here. All right, here we go. <laughs> I am not a big bacon eater but I can tell you right now, that is the best bacon I think I've ever had in my whole entire life. Wow, it is so good. Look at how thick it is. It really, it really doesn't even taste like bacon to me. It tastes like I'm eating like a whole ham. And it's so, so delicious. And like I said, I'm not a big bacon guy, but I'd definitely get this again. Like this is top notch, top notch here I say. <laughs> Now I think it's time we head on over to Adventureland and into Pirates of the Caribbean. I hope the wait's not too long. I mean, it shouldn't be too bad. Basically, all the wait times today have been very low. Even Seven Doors Mine Train at 45 minutes is really, really low. Looks like a 10 minute wait for Pirates, so yes please, we're heading right on in. 10 minutes, excellent. Just what I like to see. I think the 10 minutes was basically just walking the queue because we're just walking straight to the ride. Looks like we got row number one, which also means if we sit on the sides, we're gonna get wet, but we're gonna sit right in the dead center. I thought for sure we were gonna get e backed off pirates there. There was a lot of times where we were just standing still and it was amazing because I really got to look at the animatronics and I love animatronics, that's why I love Pirates of the Caribbean. And oh wow, it would be a dream to get evacuated off that ride. Honestly, probably in my top three. Haunted Mansion, probably number one. 
Now we're going to make our way back out to the hub area. We did a big circle all the way around. And it definitely looks like it's getting busy out here. Are people lining up for the fireworks already? I think the fireworks are at 9. Oh, lordy. An hour and a half from them now. So people are lining up an hour and a half before the fireworks. And the pumpkins are lit up. I don't think I'm gonna hang around for fireworks tonight, but it's nice to see like Main Street USA lit up and it's not dark yet and the crowd's just getting together and getting ready for happily ever after. I feel like the next couple of days because technically uh, it's exactly 30 days from now, happily ever after is gonna end. I feel like every single night is gonna be emotional because every single night is gonna be some people's last time ever seeing happily ever after. Look at just how beautiful this is. I love coming to Magic Kingdom, especially like at this time, like I said before. It's so nice out. A little bit of the best of both worlds. Some of the lights, still daylight out. I love it. <laughs> I think since we're here, we'll hop in the Emporium and see if they got any new things we can look at and just kind of browse around. I am in the hunt for more Halloween stuff, but I might want to wait until Halloween time. Do you know what I mean? Like I want to get one of the new Halloween spirit jerseys, but I'm not too sure which one I want. They have so many amazing ones. Also, I look like I only have one eye because only one side of my uh, glasses is fogging up. So it's like I have a patch. Wow, the 50th anniversary poster calendar came out and this looks so amazing. I really am going to get this. I'm hands down going to get it. Look at this. This is the actual different months and they all look so retro and amazing. They've got a Mr. Toad's Wild Ride section. Oh, I am definitely getting this. It also looks like they got lots more Halloween stuff. Look at this uh, trick or treat pumpkin. This is really cool. It lights up and it also plays music. Maybe boo to you. I don't know what music it plays. I think you have to pull the tab so we're not going to find out. I don't know how much this is though. Probably $24, maybe $30. I can't see a price tag on it. I still think, think that's really awesome though. They also reorganized this store big time. Everything is actually all over the place. At the end here, this is where the hats used to be because I always used to check to see if they got any new fedoras. And I noticed they put the hats and the ears all the way up by uh, Casey's. So if you come in looking, you gotta go up there. But I do like the little Chippendales. These are really cool. They're kind of funny and a little cute. They even have little Yodas and Chewbaccas. And now I think we are done here. I got myself this nifty calendar, which is gonna come in handy. I'm gonna show you what I've been working on and trying to actually market and keep track. So anytime I do any videos that end up back at the house, I'll give you an update on the calendar. And uh, yeah, I had a great day today. It was fun to just come, hang out, relax, do some rides, have a pumpkin spice coffee on Main Street, and just enjoy Magic Kingdom. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye. Looks like we got a night monorail creeping into station. Isn't it so majestic looking?